So this is a short video to demonstrate the Kawasaki VN15 just sure it's been road tested clutch gears, brakes, that sort of thing so first thing is climb on and start the engine just take it for a short ride and describe what I can feel so ignition on I think the battery's probably okay on this I have had it on charge but it seems like it's alright at the moment anyway, I don't know for sure but anyway I've noticed that the clutch lockout switch is a little bit dry. You have to wiggle it a little bit when you're holding the starter button down. To second, third. I've just got like, a little bit of rear brake. The fires are down. So a little bit of rear brake. A little bit more. I can feel that the rear brake disc feels as flat as it should be. And also as powerful as it should be. Now the same with the front. That feels like, it feels a little bit wooden, but these bikes do. Um, compared with some more modern bikes, that brake feels a bit oldy worldy. It sounds like from listening to the engine, it all sounds sweet enough, but I can hear a um, like a valve clearance noise, so that might want some adjustment there. That's what it sounds like without actually adjusting it to be sure that that's um, what I can hear. It doesn't sound like it's in, in any imminent danger of any difficulties. It's too regular, I would say, to be a time engine. It's just like valve clearances. But the transmission feels like as it, sh as it should do. Just the work right through all the gears having listened to it here when I turn right. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Yeah, the transmission's all quiet, so there's no drive shaft noise, gear noise, or anything else there to be concerned about. The bike rides nice and straight. No hands on the handlebars, it's fine. Tick over is a little bit higher than I would have expected. I suspect because the bike hasn't been used very much lately, it probably wants a bit of lubrication on the cables, I would think. Or perhaps it's just a bit of adjustment. Anyway, that's the test done.